many rescuers have difficulty with bag mass ventilation. The American Heart Association recognizes this by recommending to rescuer bag mass ventilation whenever possible. Rescuer positioning, mask placement, EC clamp, head tilt chin lift, seal, and squeezing the bag. Single rescuer bag mass ventilation should be performed with the rescuer standing or kneeling at the top of the patient's head. Proper mask placement is essential to effective ventilation. The apex, or the angled portion of the mask, should be over the bridge of the nose, and the bottom of the mask should land between the patient's lower lip and their chin. Many images and videos of the EC clamp depict the C at the lower end of one edge of the masks, depicted on the left. This does make a beautiful C, but it would be more effective for you to move your C higher up on the mask as pictured on the right. This allows you to put more uniform pressure over the mask and for our rescuers with smaller hands, allowing the thumb to be higher on the mask allows for a better reach for the E portion of our EC clamp. The bag has been removed to allow you to see better. Now you can see that the thumb is at the top of the mask, and as long as the thumb remains at the top of the mask, you can rotate your hand left or right so that your three fingers can find a comfortable spot on the jaw and your index finger will provide the top of the C as previously pictured. Pictured here is the initial positioning of the thumb with the bag attached to the mask. The bag has again been removed to give you an unobstructed view of the full EC clamp. As you can see, the C is nice and high at the top of the mask, and the tips of the three fingers are on the bony part of the jaw. Here we see the full EC clamp with the bag attached to the mask. With our EC clamp in place, we are ready to do a head tilt chin lift to open the airway of the patient. Opening the airway is a necessary component of effective ventilation. And actually, if you were to look up at the ceiling right now and gently raise your chin in that direction, you can actually feel your own airway open up. And that is what we are seeking to do with the patient with a head tilt chin lift. Even with an effective EC clamp and an effective head tilt chin lift, we still have to seal the mask to the patient's face. As long as we have not adjusted the fingers of our E when we did our head tilt chin lift, then we have essentially created a hinge. Instead of squeezing with your fingers, if you push down gently with your thumb over the bridge of the nose, that pressure will be uniformly dispersed throughout the mask to create an effective seal on the patient's face. Now we are prepared to ventilate the patient by squeezing the bag gently over the course of about one second until we see chest rise. Place the mask properly on the patient's face. Put your thumb up high on the mask. Tips of your three fingers on the bony part of the jaw. Head tilt, chin lift. Lean over the bridge of the nose. Gently squeeze the bag until you see chest rise. Here is a side view of two effective bag mask ventilations. If you lose your seal or the chest does not rise, take a deep breath and reset. Pick up the mask, place it back on the patient's face, thumb up high, tips of your three fingers on the bony part of the jaw, head tilt, chin lift, lean over the bridge of the nose and give a gentle ventilation next time around. Finally, practice. Most of our BLS providers that are effective at bag mass ventilation did not get there, practicing once every two years.